So I know you guys are expecting a shop tour right now. That's why you clicked on this video. And um, we already filmed one of these and uh, I lost the footage. <clears throat> I thought that I had backed it up in the chaos of the move. Cards didn't get backed up. They got formatted. Now I gotta go tell John that uh, we gotta refilm this video for you guys. What's up? Hi, Jordan. John. Yeah. You know how we filmed that shop tour video? Yes. You know how we've been moving and we're dumb? What'd you do? It's gone. What's gone? All the footage is gone. <laughs> the card got formatted. Oh, f I know you're making lunch, but these people clicked on a shop tour, so we gotta give them a shop tour. <laughs> we'll just show it to them full junk. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. This sucker is 10,000 square feet. And as you can see behind me, we finally have garage and loading dock. So when we take deliveries, we don't have to break our backs like we used to in the past. That was one big thing when we was looking for a building is that we had to be able to have roll up doors and uh, some way to drive into the shop for stuff because we were sick and tired of like being in a basement or being in like our last shop was fabric cobbled together and was just like awful. So we're super, super stoked about these. We've got just regular sized doors on the loading dock. I think those are like 10 foot tall. And then we've got these monster 10 foot by 14 foot doors on the other side. The building itself is a metal building with a metal roof and we have a, a block skirt that's about four feet tall going around it. It comes with this beautiful parking lot, which is something that we never had in the past. We had to like park on the street and pray people didn't steal our vehicles. And then we got a view. So one of the things we're more excited about than you would probably think is that we finally have an office to be more awesome in. So we actually have two offices. There's offices on both sides, I'll show you guys, but come check this out. Bear in mind the Sam lost the footage we have shit everywhere, but let's go check it out. All righty, welcome to the office on what is the left side of the building, which is gonna be the wood shop side of the building. As you can see, we've got lovely decor. Now, like I said, we hastily moved out of the last shop and then because Sam lost all the footage, here's a uh, very sad montage of that move. Okay, now that we're all done crying, we've already gotten started on uh, kind of tearing this place up, just painted it a little bit. Um, and we definitely plan on redoing the flooring, um, sprucing it up a bit. And my thoughts up in this area is like a showroom sort of feel and vibe. We are going to be facilitating more custom orders rolling into uh, the new shop just because we have the space now. And because of that, I want to carry a few items that we've built. Um, and we have done a few cool projects that I think would look good in a little showroom. As we continue in, we've got a door here to the shop. Hey, shop! Shop doesn't like me. And then a bathroom behind you for Jordan and Sam to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we're going to be calling this the war room. So the war room here is essentially where all the fun for the office side of what we do uh, is planned to exist. We do have some cruddy carpet down here, um, which looks like someone took a leak on it. For the time being, it's gonna work fine. We've got our grease board and our TV kind of set up for now with just the couch from the old office and then the cave table, if you remember, and a couple, pro we just got projects kind of scattered everywhere. The plan I'm thinking for this room is to put a conference table in here for us to kind of sit at and meet um, and be able to essentially come up with the most absurd concepts and ideas that we possibly can for this 10,000 10, square foot uh, mammoth. God knows we've got the space. We might as well do some epic stuff. This is Sam and Jordan's office. Potentially what we'll call the dungeon. The lighting's so bad in here. The lighting is absolutely terrible. I apologize for that. We've got this cubicle here, which is like our main hub for all of our content and video uh, equipment and whatnot. Um, and then over here, Jordan's gonna be running a lot of the uh, digital kind of products of the plans. Uh, the CNC will be run out of this side. Um, and give those guys just their own space and somewhere to work. It's one of the main benefits of having this building. I've got an office, but we gotta tour some other stuff first. We've actually got two doors to the shop, which is pretty awesome. But right off of the office, you've got, pull your pants up, the shop. And Bear, Bear's like in the new shop. We're very excited to now be able to have a door open while we work so that we can get some wonderful vitamin D from that big burning orb in the sky in our lives. Wow, that's nice. It's so much darker in here. The last shop, we couldn't really work with the door open because I kid you not, we had a homeless person walking in there at least once a week asking for food, water, or a job and never accepting the fact that we wouldn't give them any money. We did offer all three other things all the time. It's weird. Once again, 
We did move all of our junk in already, and uh, because we don't have the footage of the empty space, I'm gonna walk you through it while it's full of stuff. So coming into the main door on this side. All right, Yens, before we continue showing you the shop, I gotta tell you about this week's sponsor, Raycon. I've been rocking these earbuds for about a month now, and I've gotta say, I love them. They're awesome. They've got a killer new look to them with like this like matte oil and black kind of thing. Super sexy, have a really nice sleek case here. They pair seamlessly with any Bluetooth device, and they're about half the price of your standard audio buds. Another awesome feature, they have eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life, and the case charges on a USB-C cable. I gotta say, I love how they integrate with your phone. They're super easy to answer with just the push of a button, and they have a new optimized gel tip insert, which is great. I use these earbuds as ear protection when I'm working, and mostly to make sure that I don't have to listen to Sam and Jordan complain to me all day long. And here's the coolest part. If you try them out, they give you 45 days to make sure you're happy with them. So if you wanna try them out, you gotta click the link down in the description or go to buyraycon.com forward slash John the Builder, and then you can unlock some killer deals up to 20% off a pair of these sweet headphones. So if you're not wearing earbuds in the shop, I highly recommend checking out Raycon because these things are sweet and I gotta say, super happy with how they perform. Now, uh, let's show you the rest of the shop. What we're gonna be using this area for in this side of the shop, because it's split in half, is pretty much exclusively the woodwork. Um, we've got a decent amount of metal tools now that having their own dedicated space would be cleanly and also uh, make a lot of sense. So we're gonna be putting that on the other side of the wall. But let me show you the wood shop side first. Walking in, we've already got the lev rack set up. Jordan took 93 hours to get that done in the last month and a half. And then we've moved the bunk desk out here because we don't have as high a ceiling. So we have thrown the idea of arena seating around for whatever reason or whatever we can come up with. But the bunk desk lives and so does the lev rack which have been in old pieces of content. We're putting our hardwood storage over here against this wall because we can and it also makes the most sense to have it closest to the door. As we continue to move in, you can see we've got a door to the other side of what looks like a dumpster but is going to be the metal side of the shop. And then as we continue moving in, we'll have this area for toolboxes um, and tools that would generally be used potentially in that shop and then deep into what's gonna be the wood shop. Over here, we've got a pallet rack that we'll be using for plywood storage and like a bigger sheet goods storage. Hopefully that stays nice and clean and organized, but if I know us, it's gonna look terrible very, very quickly. Now, we're into what is essentially gonna be the heart of the shop. At the heart of most shops is typically the table saw, which for right now is kind of sitting a little bit close to where it is, looking super duper sad, as am I, because this place is a pigsty and nothing's getting done. But we do have plans to get a lot of things done. First and foremost is gonna be building a room for Miss Piggy. Now, she's been kind to us and she's a very lovely young lady. Being sad. Because she is so lovely, we thought she deserved her own bedroom. That and she's noisy as hell and we need to make a soundproof room to kind of be able to run that while we're doing other stuff. So you can see here, we taped off on the floor. What we're planning on doing is building a room that she'll live inside for eternity, hopefully be able to keep the noise out of the rest of the shop. That should be a pretty cool project, and I think there's a lot of people out there who have looked to build soundproof stuff, might be able to learn some stuff from it. We're potentially gonna recycle our uh, ax handle doors from the last shop here. We've still gotta kinda figure that out because we wanna be able to drive a forklift into at least the front to load that thing, so yeah. If you would do it differently, let me know. Leave a comment down below. All of you have seen last week's project, which was this, and which is a mobile workbench that now that we have the space, uh, we'll be able to roll wherever the hell we want. Um, give us, hopefully, keep it clean. We can't keep anything clean around here. Like I said, table saw, and along this wall, we've got the miter section that you guys have seen, uh, this cabinet over here, all of our like festal cabinet, drill charging station, more or less, we're just trying to create the cleanest and most efficient flow we possibly can. And I'm pretty sure we're failing miserably at it, but we're gonna keep trying, because that's what we do around here is we try. We're rolling down into the main uh, kind of like staging area of the shop. We've got some tools lined out on this wall. We don't have any electrical to anything yet, so it's not permanent. We're just kind of feeling it out. In this area right here, uh, we're probably gonna have the planer and the potential wide belt sander. I've wanted a wide belt sander since I started doing slab work and epoxy work. We probably have an opportunity to get one in this shop as far as being able to fit it in here. So if you've got one laying around, let me know because I'd love to get one. Um, but a dream of mine has always been to have a wide belt. So those are probably gonna live in this area because we'll have plenty of room for infeed and outfeed. More tools along that back wall, which I think we're gonna build this place out as of right now. 
with some tongue and groove sheets of like sanded ply. That'll just give us some nice wooden areas around the wall. Now, because Sam lost the footage and we're having to film this after we have moved everything in, we've already started on rebuilding our stage or staging area that you're used to seeing in older pieces of content. We have to get this done tonight, more or less, uh, because I'm shooting a course that I'm gonna be releasing uh, early next year that some of yins will probably be into. And that shoot is happening very, very soon. So we had to start on this already. We kind of did the same thing with the tongue and board. Tongue and groove board. We'll be building out the bottom half of this and uh, you'll get to see all that in separate videos and more pieces of content as they come out. Um, and so that is generally what the wood shop looks like for now. We're gonna improve the lighting so you guys can see every blemish on my face much better than what it is now. Like that eye of yours? Do you think I jammed something in my eye? Oh, oh, oh it's gross. It got and worse since this morning. Did it? Yeah. You think it's stress? Oh, yeah. Damn it. When is that gonna go away? <laughs> Probably when I fire you and Jordan. <laughs> Welcome to John's shaky cam. <laughs> now, let's go check out where the metal shop's gonna be. What's up? <laughs> Jordan, how you feel about things? I'm actually really excited. This is gonna be fun. So over here is what we're planning on using for the metal shop. As you can see, we basically moved everything out and dumped it right here, which is gonna be Sam and Jordan's problem pretty soon. Sorry guys, I don't know if I told you that. Reason it's sitting here is because previous tenant or owner, excuse me, left a ton of pallet racking that uh, we're waiting for someone that purchased it to come get it. So once that moved, we'll be able to move things into this side of the shop. Now, I did do a 3D model and I'll show you that overhead here. You can see that uh, we plan on kind of having all of the metal shop tools staying against the wall over here um, in order to alleviate a lot of space on this side of the shop. We'll keep deep storage over there. And uh, then we basically have what we're calling like the playground for the rest of the shop. Sam's throwing around the idea of a boxing ring, maybe an octagon, potentially a bowling alley. We want to do an indoor ax throwing and bow range potentially. Zip line, maybe, I'm, I'm kind of heavy so I'm not big on the zip line life, but we've got the space that we want to be able to do some bigger, more creative and fun things. And we know that Yin's would love to see us do those. So if you've got a suggestion, shut up! If you got a suggestion for something ridiculous, please, please leave a comment down below. And who knows, we might actually do it at some point. As we kind of spin around here, um, we've got another office on this side of the building. This insanely sad room over here. It's guarded by the really sad IMAC. That's it. Okay. Means I want to know what happened to that guy. This super sad room is literally exactly what it looks like. Supreme sadness. I don't have words. But what I'm thinking right now is we turn this into a poor room. We do enough epoxy work and we need temperature control uh, and in a controlled environment so that we may blow this entire wall open and kind of do some triple sliding doors or something like that and uh, use that to pour in so we can control more, more stuff going on inside of it. Then as you mosey on over here, we've got what's also very sad, potentially kind of necessary. I don't even know if we should show this one. Oh, it's gross, we're showing it. This is a bathroom with a urinal. Wait, we've had a urinal this whole time? Yeah. Well, we wanted one in the middle of the shop. Best we could do is in the office. Um, over here, what we've got is a shower, which we've had a ton of projects in the past where it would have been nice to like bathe after the project and not have to get in your vehicle um, and be like all gross and disgusting. So that may come in handy or it may not. We don't know. We've got a water fountain here, which is um, quite disgusting. And I only drink out of it maybe once or twice a day. But if you want to stay free and you uh, don't want to get sick, you need to be putting stuff like that in your mouth. Lastly, this is what's my office. It's pretty standard, but it's somewhere for me to get away from Sam and Jordan because they are consistently bothering me with stupid shit. So it's nice to be across the shop. Also lets them think that I'm doing nothing and just sitting in here twirling in circles, which is usually not the case because I get I get dizzy. But then, you know, you move around uh, back outside and then you blow the camera lighting out with the garage door that sits here. The one sunny day we've had this year. Yeah, right. Now you come back outside, and that's where I've got the grill. And then the last thing I think we need to show people, Sam, is but we've also got kind of outdoor space to potentially do more ridiculous exterior outdoor projects. That could include maybe building a Cremona bandsaw. Should we do that? Should we potentially build a tree house? Uh, Sam wants a deer stand, but I don't know how much the uh, homes and the business over there would like that. We've got the room now, uh, and so you're gonna be seeing a lot more larger scale projects from us, hopefully, as well as uh, 
more videos. The goal with the bigger place is to bring in more. You guys are the reason I was able to go ahead and purchase something of this magnitude and to give back to you, we're gonna give you as much content as we possibly can. So keep your eyes peeled for more ridiculousness as well as we wanna hear what you guys wanna see. So leave a comment down below and if you liked this shop tour, you better be subscribed because it's only gonna get more absurd from here. Love yins, thank yins. We'll see you on the next one.